Here we go. What's up everyone, Walshy here, and this is the first episode of Halo Essentials, and I'm going to be showing you the Halo CE spawn system with a little help from Ace from Optic Gaming. So I'm going to go right into the gameplay, and the example today is going to be from Halo CE's Hang 'em High. I'm going to show you a couple examples of exactly how the Halo 1 spawn system works, because it's quite different from every other Halo out there. It's uh, very consistent in a good way if you know how to use it and abuse it. So, what I'm going to be showing you is how the spawn system is based upon where your teammates are. So right now, all I'm going to be using is just myself and Ace. Even though we're on the same team, I'm going to show you how I can force where Ace is going to spawn. Or where he's not going to spawn in some of these cases. So, what I'll do real quick is... The first of many betrayals that you'll see is I'm going to kill Ace. And you'll notice that he's going to spawn right next to me, down here, under the spot that I'm shooting right now. <clears throat> so the way that the Halo 1 spawn system works is it's based on where your teammates are within the vicinity. And so, if you watch again, I can kill him, three shot him, and he'll spawn in the exact same spot. So oh. he'll spawn there again, here in a couple seconds. Or he'll get a random spawn for no reason. <laughs> Here, betray yourself real quick. Kill myself. Yep. So he'll spawn down here with me. I'll show you one more time. <laughs> he'll spawn down here with me again. There we go. Now I'll show you what blocking a spawn point can do. Uh, after he spawns this last time, I'll just block that spawn point. And what will happen is he's going to spawn above me. So this is where you can force a top spawn for your teammates. Like here's an example on Hang'em High. So you notice Ace spawns right above, and he can help get blue control in that case. Now each spawn point will do different, uh, different things from time to time. So for example, uh, I could kill Ace, and I can have him spawn next to me in this back red corner. And in this case, if I was to block this spawn, there are no other spawns within this vicinity. So he's not going to spawn anywhere else where he connects me. He'll get a random spawn. I did. Um, the Halo PC one may be slightly different, but you notice how he got a random spawn right there without it being blocked, but he should spawn right next to me. And if I was to block this one, he'll get a random spawn. So... By blocking it, by staying on there, he'll get a ram spawn somewhere, anywhere else across the map. Like, it could be up there, this next spawn he can get, he could be all the way at blue or even at camo. So, it's literally going to be as if he's playing a one versus one, and he can spawn anywhere on the map when you block some of these ram spots. So there's a couple of these ram spots sure. on the maps. Um, I take that back, there's actually only random spots on specific maps that you can do this on. With uh, two right people, down here. with two persons. So hell, my stuff just froze. Yep, and as Ace point out, there's gonna be a yeah. random right in the spot where Ace was. Uh, I don't know, you just lagged right there. So Ace will spawn somewhere randomly across the map, and if he was to betray himself again by committing suicide with the grenades, the you'll notice that, that once again it says if he's playing one versus one, and my spawn has no influence on him. He's just gonna get a random spawn somewhere across the map. And he got a top blue this time. The reason for this being is because I'm nowhere near a certain range of any other spawn points on the map. So once again, where'd Ace spawn? He spawned all the way over here. The shotgun. Now this doesn't work 100% on every spot. So it's not like I can block one specific spawn point and always force a split spawn or a random. So for example, a spawn me next here at bottom camo. If I was to kill him and block this spawn, he's probably going to spawn either above me or at the bottom of this closed ramp right next to me, which he spawns above me. So what I'm trying to say is that if I was to go switch that to that other spot and block Ace's spawn again, he's going to spawn in one of these three spots. So no matter what, I cannot block all these spawns and give Ace a random in this case. He's just going to continue to spawn right next to me in one of these locations. So, um, next what we can show is 
there's uh, one other ram spot that, or two other ram spots that I know of right here on Hang'em High. Um, if you notice where Ace just spawned right now, I can block, I can either let him spawn there, or if I was to block that, it's one of the spots where I can actually block this spawn point and give him a random spawn. So once again, he could spawn, you know, somewhere either bottom on the street or he could also spawn all the way across the map over at top blue, as you see right here. So the way to look at a random spawn is that it literally is a random spot. It can be, you could spawn as close to your teammate as possible or as far away. And that can be used in multiple different ways that I'll show you in different videos. But the whole point in this is just to give you an idea of how to approach the Halo 1 spawn system. How to realize that, okay, if I'm spawning right here, I can maybe block this spawn point and notice where my teammates are going to spawn. That's exactly how we kind of figured it out in the Halo 1 days. A lot of Halo 1 pros have noticed there'd be certain situations where you can block an exact spawn point and your teammate would spawn way up above you. Or you'd block a spawn point and your teammate would spawn right next to you. It didn't really have much influence. So that's all I got for you this first episode of Walshie's Halo Essentials. I'll be doing plenty more of these throughout uh, these next weeks, going through all, all through Halo CE to Halo 4. So, hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'm going to start streaming again right now, so people that aren't following me on YouTube, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash and I'm streaming almost every single day. So, thanks for watching.